Uh, we're joined here by on trips player by Kev. Uh, Kev, we've got we've got to, you've got a bit of an important day against Portsmouth uh, to do with Mortier on disease. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, obviously when I was signing a new deal, I uh, spoke to people upstairs and regarding one of my friends, obviously who was stuck down with an illness, um, and <coughs> he's just doing a bit of awareness stuff around uh, football clubs as he used to play for Alton and Mark Maddox it is, and um, he just. Obviously, I want to try and help him out and obviously make people aware. Obviously, when he got he told me about the disease, um, I didn't know much about it. And then when you read up on it, um, it's not very nice. And obviously, there's no cure to it. Obviously, it's just trying to prolong stuff. And um, I want to do as much as I can for him. Obviously, he's a close friend, and um, the club was quite happy to help me in that. So uh, we've got the game against Portsmouth coming up on Saturday, uh, and there's going to be people here from the Montenegro. There's going to be a collection, that sort of thing. Is that right? Yeah, they're finally like they're going to split a, a bit of a bit of money in that. But he's not really bothered about the money. It's about it's more about making, raising awareness. Yeah, raising awareness, obviously, about the disease. And if you if you go on, there's not many with it. And obviously, he was only 37 or something when it happened, and that. So it's pretty. It was pretty tough for him and his family. He's got three young kids, so. Um, Hopefully we can raise some more awareness about it and obviously get a few quid and obviously um, put it towards the funds. So uh, has he just been diagnosed? Is this a recent thing or is it? No, the thing is it's like um, it was touching three years, might have been just before Christmas, two years maybe, just before Christmas just gone. So um, <coughs> it's, it's a mad at first but he's got on with stuff, he's done marathons, he's done skydives, he's not one to mope around, he's a very, I'm not just saying but he is a hard lad like and He's, as I say, he's doing all kinds. Just like he's not doing it for the money, he's doing it to obviously to say for the whole awareness of the, like the um, multi-neuron disease. And you just got involved because you obviously you used to play with him, as you say, at Altrincham when you started out your career. Is that right? Yeah, yeah and I played with him. Mad Dog, his name was. I played with him at Alty, and obviously, he, like he, he tackled as nan. He was. That's all. He, that's all he was as a centre half. And then I kept in touch with him when I went to different clubs, and I've always spoke. He lives local to me, and. Catched up for a little coffee here and there when I could when I was home, and um, I still speak to them obviously a lot. And you can see stuff, and um, it's quite upsetting really. What, what about it, like? So you just decided, well, I, I, I can, the, what I can do is raise awareness by. And what did the club say when you came here and said, okay, what can we do against Paul? It was, it was a solo. It's like I want to do bits. Obviously, he's, other clubs have done bits about it. Obviously, he knows other like professional footballers around and semi-pro clubs have done a bit and. We've played charity games and been involved in stuff and always there looking to raise awareness and I think like um, I think it was good at the club when obviously they said about my new deal and um, obviously they've read up a little bit when I done with Quinny about obviously the multi disease and Mark Maddox being affected by it and the club said um, would you be happy with like a um, multi disease stroke Kevin Ellison day when against Portsmouth I think it'll be ideal for obviously Portsmouth hopefully bring a Good yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's um, right. hopefully we can just raise a bit of awareness and enjoy the day. Well, good luck with that, and uh, obviously I hope it I hope it does raise awareness. I hope it raises a lot of money, and I hope we score at it. Cheers, thanks very much, boys. <laughs> well, Mark, we've heard from Kev about what what the day is about. I think it's great that the club's uh, supporting him with this. Uh, Give us a bit more detail. Well, it was uh, it was something that um, we picked up on a little while ago. Kevin, uh, as a lot of players do, do an awful lot that maybe the fans aren't aware of where um, they've been um, struck with uh, by friends or by acquaintances they've you know played a lot of football a, little, a lot of places and this was something we picked up on um, this motor neurons um, disease and specifically Mark Maddox who albeit Kevin obviously knows him very very well there's also a lot of connections with other people with inside inside the football club uh, I know Jim Bentley remembers Mark as a, a teaching assistant, as a PE teacher uh, back in the day at school. Wow. Uh, um, Ken McKenna um, knows a lot about Mark. Um, obviously Ken was manager at Alton, not at the same time, but um, the Liverpool football family seems to be very small. Everybody knows everybody and, and I think uh, the Mark Maddox story and, and what he's going through and, uh, and what he's prepared to do has struck everybody really. So what's happening on the day then, Mark? Well, we're trying to. Well, what we're going to do, um, we've contacted Portsmouth, who've been really, really helpful, and um, there's going to be two or three things going on at the same time. Where there'll be a bucket collection. I think it's quite obvious. Um, there'll be people around the place, so I'd ask that if people see them rattling the bucket, if they dig deep. Um, we've got some um, thanks to Portsmouth. They've agreed to let us allow us to uh, have 
um, uh, friendship scarf. Uh, so half Morecambe, half Portsmouth, oh, right. commemorating the day. Yeah. Um, and they've given us specific permission, and we will be donating um, a percentage of, of the value that people pay for the scarf to MNDA. And also Kevin himself on signing his new agreement. We, I think we did one for Jim Bentley. We did a scarf, right. and, and Kevin has uh, has agreed to allow us to put his uh, his face. So is it Kevin Ellison scarf? Is it is Kevin Ellison right. scarf? But well, this is all about MNDA. Yeah. It's all about raising the awareness. I think Kevin puts it quite well in that it isn't uh, one of the mainstream. Um, no. It's a, a it's a, an awful an awful thing uh, that. They don't know an awful lot about. There isn't a cure. They can prolong, but mm. it's all about the research. And we know the huge strides that have been made in, in in cancer. And it's all about raising people's awareness of it, getting money into the research, yeah. so that they can look for. It, you know, unfortunately, it's not going to happen overnight. But in future, they may be able to find a cure for it, or something that's going to, you know, slow it down sufficiently, so people can have a. a, a a standard of life yeah. and people like Mark who've put so much into mm. football um, albeit it was a nasty centre half he's put a lot into football for kids and everything else so um, I think our values as a football club um, it strikes a chord with us and it's exactly what we should be doing so so how can people get behind it then on the day? well what we're going to do on the day it's come along people will be rattling buckets um, dig deep yeah. and that goes for the Portsmouth fans as well this is all going to go on social media the uh, the scarves will be online, uh, hopefully sometime this weekend, if not early next week. People can order them online. They well, don't have to yeah. be here on right. the day. That's good. Um, and we will continue to sell them. We'll continue to order them as long as people want them. Right. And uh, yeah. a significant amount of money will be raised. Mm. We're we're putting uh, we're not putting any pressure on ourselves, but we believe with the right you know the right message out there. Yeah. The, the Morecambe family, and I know Portsmouth are very, very keen on this. Them guys down there have been great. And we get together, as only football clubs can, as only football supporters can, yeah. and let's get behind this and, and really um, try and make a difference. So we celebrate Kev's re-signing and, yeah. uh, and, and, and raise awareness as well for this, this horrible disease. Yeah, and I think, and I think it, it, it's, um, it fits in well with the, uh, with the family ethos that we have around yeah. here to, you know, one of our own, albeit Mark hasn't, Never played for Morecambe Football Club. I'm sure he's played against Morecambe, but it, it, there's enough connections for us to uh, to take it on board, and it's it, it is the right thing to do. Great, thanks, Matt. No problem, mate. Thank you.